Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for another Pokemon TCG Online video. As you can see, featuring cards from the current Forbidden Light expansion of Pokemon TCG. We're going to check out some more Pokemon, as you can see in the layout down below. We're actually not going to focus on Pokemon GX this time around. i got a different idea in mind, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. I am going to mention something, though, starting with this video. Based on the last live stream that we did together, I decided uh, I got some feedback from the uh, viewers and I thought I'm going to change things up the way we do the giveaways for these code cards. I still got a big old stack of these things, so I'm actually not going to give you a code in the video itself. We're going to bring back the notion of question of the day, which is something that I used to do back in my news update video thingies, which I haven't done in forever. I should probably consider doing one of those again sometime to get caught up on all the news from the world of Pokemon. But for the time being, I'm going to switch things up, and instead of just giving a code here in the video, we're going to save the codes within the video for, uh, let's go with the live stream videos themselves. I will put the codes in. I might try to mix things up and actually put the code in the actual video itself. So, it's not going to be a matter of copy-paste. Whoever can type the code the quickest will get it. Maybe we'll do that. But anyway, as far as the pre-recorded video such as this one goes, I'm going to give you guys a question of the day, and I guess I will... I'm going to do that in a little bit, so stay tuned for that, and I'm going to give out, I don't know how many codes, I might give out a number of codes depending on how many responses to the question that we get, so the more responses we get, the more codes I'm probably going to be giving out. This is kind of the first try, first trial run to see how well things, you know, go with this new format kind of thing, but if you want one of those codes, code cards, let's get your answer to the question of the day once we get to it. But for now, let's jump into the deck manager. I'm also going to switch things up a little bit in this regard, and I'll tell you that in just a moment. But we're going to call this deck, I've called it Pyrorious, because we're hoping to be victorious with this. We're going to feature a cool new Pokemon from Forbidden Light. The first one we're going to take a look at is going to be Delphox, and the reason I'm doing Delphox is the ability. Mystical Torch. Once during your turn before your attack, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned. So, kind of cool. You got a nice burn for using your ability. I wonder if I could combine that with something else. But anyway, this deck here is going to focus on using Delphox's Mystical Torch to cause a burn. I've got two Delphox, one Brakeson, and three Fennekin. It's also going to use Infernape which currently is in Forbidden Light, but it's a fighting type. I'm going to use the fire type Infernape from Ultra Prism. Same ability, Flaming Fighter, or sorry, put two damage counters instead of two on your opponent's burned Pokemon between turns. If I can get both Infernape and Delphox on the bench, those two combined will be doing six damage counters to the opposing active Pokemon just by using their abilities. I can also have another Pokemon active to do some attacking. So I've got two Infernape, one uh, Monferno, and three basic... Chimchar. I can't think of their names. Three basic Chimchar, which I kind of like this Pokemon. It's got Retreat for zero. It has one fire energy doing 20 damage with Flare. Downside, it only has 40 HP, so it's not going to take too many hits, if any. And the other Pokemon... Now, I was considering... Let me get my keyboard here. Something you could do to combine with the power of the Delphox burning and more damage counters from the Infernape. You could go with something like... Uh, where is it? Salazzle. My keyboard is turned off. So Lazzle, go with the Hunter's Nails attack. If your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 60 more damage, 60 base damage, so you can do 120, and of course 20, sorry, 60 more from the burn, so 180 total each turn. You could do something like that. You could, uh, is there anything else you can use to do more damage based on special conditions? There probably is, I just can't think of it off the top of my head. But since this is Forbidden Light, I kind of want to show off more codes, more cards, not codes, from that particular set. We're going to go with Pyroar. Nice big old intimidating Lysandre in the back there. Ability is Unnerve. Whenever your opponent plays an item or supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to this Pokemon. That's going to be kind of interesting. Things like Enhanced Hammer, uh, Guzma, if it's on the bench, won't matter. It's kind of cool, so we'll see what happens. And Dominating Fangs for Fire and Two Colorless does 80, plus if Lysandre Labs is in play, it does 60 more damage. So you can do a decent 140, plus if you get that burn in effect, you can do 60 more with that. 200 damage total, which is kind of nice. i got two Pyroar and three Litleo, and that's going to round out the 17 Pokemon in the deck. Scrolling down to the energies, we've got three double colorless, and how many is this? Nine basic fire energies to round out the 12 energies for the deck. Now, for the supporter and trainer cards, not just supporters, all trainers, we've got two energy retrievals, bringing back two discarded basic energy cards into your hand from the discard pile. I've gone with... Do I need three nest balls? Why did I put three nest balls in there? 
Anyway, we got three nest balls in here. I think because I want to try to get uh, my main goal, get Fennekin in play as soon as possible, therefore we can get up into Delphox pretty quick, causing the burns. The next goal is to try to get Infernape in play as soon as possible, so we can start doing more damage with the burns. Pyroar is kind of a last, sort of a, what do you call it, an afterthought, almost? I mean, it's going to be the one doing the attacking, if I can get everything set up the way I want, but... Definitely, I gotta try to focus on getting the Mystical Torch in play first, then the Flaming Fighter, and then Pyroar for the extra attack. So we got three Nest Balls, we got two basic, sorry, two basic, two Professor's Letters to find two basic energy from the dis or not, from the deck. I'm going too quick. Two basic energy from within your deck, take them, shuffle up the deck, you're good to go. I got four Puzzles of Time, as per usual, you can play two at a time, but if you play one, look at the top three cards of the deck and rearrange them. You can play two at a time, and if you do, choose two discarded cards and bring them back into your hand. Since we only have one of the stage ones for each of these two lines, I've got three rare candies in the deck. You can go from basic to stage two by playing rare candy if the stage two is in your hand. Two ultra balls in here as well, discarding two other cards from hand and then searching your deck for any Pokemon and taking it. Now we've got the two Lysandre Labs. This is going to be somewhat difficult. This actually is Lysandre's lab from X and Y, isn't it? I thought it was the uh, Omega Ruby. No, Omega Ruby. Uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. But no, it looks like it's from the actual X and Y game. Anyway, with this stadium in play, Pokemon tool cards in play have no effect. So, that's going to hinder one idea I have in this deck. It's actually going to help against opponents that use things like Floatstone, Choice Band. Well, it's not going to help choice being, you know, we have no Pokemon GX or anything, but yeah, Floatstone, shutting that down might be kind of nice. And we have two Scorched Earths as well. If I can get it in play very early in the game, it's going to help me with my draw support. Once during each player's turn, they can discard a fire or fighting energy from hand. If so, draw two cards. Good way to speed up your draw support. One of my favorite ways to add more cards to hand. Now, the supporter cards. I've got a couple Cynthia's in here. Shuffle your hand into the deck and then draw six cards. Since I have to try to get as many of these Pokemon in play as fast as possible, getting a whole new hand of cards using Cynthia could very well help me along that way. I've got Guzma in here. Every deck needs at least one Guzma, I would say. Of course, last livestream we did, the opponent had about three of them and kept shutting down my Frogadier before I could get Greninja GX. But anyway, one Guzma is definitely recommended. Three or four is even more recommended. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon up with their active, and if you do, switch your active with one of your benched. We've got Lysandre Prism Star. Since I'm using Pyroar, since we have Lysandre Labs, I thought we gotta use this guy. So, of course, you can only have one Lysandre Prism Star card in your deck, and for each of your fire Pokemon in play, put a card from your opponent's discard pile in the Lost Zone. That's kind of cool. I can't wait to see other cards that reference the Lost Zone, where, like, uh, there was a Mew. Can I show that Mew? I don't know if I can actually see it. Hang on. Let's look up Mew and cards that I do not own, from newest to oldest. There is a Mew that, uh... No, it's no longer available for play. But it did allow you to use any attack of any Pokemon in the Lost Zone, which is kind of cool. So if that was usable with this Lysandre Prism Star, you could actually basically exile a bunch of their Pokemon and allow your Mew to use any of their attacks, which would be kind of cool. All right, we got a couple Mallow in the deck as well. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle the deck, and then put those two cards on top in any order, which is going to work well with our Scorched Earth, because I can choose two cards, put them on top. If I have a Fire Energy in hand and Scorched Earth is in play, I can discard that energy and draw those two cards I've chosen. Very nice. We've also got one Professor Kakui to draw two extra cards, and during this turn, you do 20 more damage. Not really that important to have that happen, though, because I'm doing a lot with the Burn and the, uh, what is it, Dominating Fangs. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, a couple of Skylas as well. Search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it and put it into hand, and then shuffle up. Very good for finding any tools you need, any different items, a stadium card, a supporter, if you want to use it on the next turn. Of course, you can't use a second supporter, but whatever you want to get. And the only other cards, two bodybuilding dumbbells. The stage one Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 40 HP. So that will add 40 hit points to our Pyroar, getting at 160, but... Downside, if we play Lysandre Labs, that negates that effect. So i got to be careful if we already have 120 or more damage when I play that down, because we'll lose Pyroar. So that's going to be the 17 Pokemon, 31 Trainers, and 12 Energy Cards. Here's where things are going to be switched up a little bit. I'm actually going to show you a versus computer test of the deck. The reason being, 
I find I put too much pressure on myself when I'm trying to play against random opponents online and the deck just doesn't work. I get frustrated, you know? I don't mind losing, but I want to show off the deck as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to show you the way the strategy should play out against a computer, because generally I can make it work against a computer player, and then we'll take it into Pokemon TCG Online against uh, random players. All right, let's nest ball, get ourselves another Litleo. We have one active in the well, active spot. I'm going to play down the Scorched Earth. Now we're going to play Cynthia. Shuffle the hand and draw six more cards. Okay, we got Pyroar already. I don't have a way to get energy just yet, so I'm going to hang on to the Puzzle of Time. And maybe next turn I can swap things around with the uh, puzzle. I'll probably play Mallow. Especially if, if I can get one fire energy or access to fire energy, then Mallow's going to be pretty good. I can put two cards of my choice on top. And I think I know what I'm going to get for those two cards. But let's see if I can get fire energy first of all. There's the close encounter from Deoxys. Ah, double colorless. Well, hmm. Let us... We'll evolve the active Pyro, or so the active Litleo into Pyro. Attach a double colorless. I'm going to play Mallow. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a fire energy card on top. Because once I draw that, I can then use the Scorched Earth to draw the second card, as well as one beneath it. So I'm going to choose... Just to get more cards out, I will use the Professor's Letter. Hang on, what do I have for cards? Yeah, I'll use the uh, Professor's Letter next. So we'll finish that. Next turn, I'll draw that fire energy. Essentially, I just want to grab another energy to be able to power up Pyro for the attack. That's all we're going to play for the turn. Now, let's get myself a rare candy and a uh, Delphox if I can. Hey, go ahead, try that. Yeah, your items do not work on our unnerving Pyro. Nice try. So there is the Overdrive Smash. So next turn, it'll do 60 more damage, so 90. That's going to hurt. Let us, Scorched Earth, discard the fire and draw two cards up. Skyla. Very nice. I'm going to play the Professor's Letter, grab a couple of basic fire. And I'm going to attach to Pyroar. Now, I think, what do we want to use Skyla for? Let me see. I could use her to get a rare candy, but I don't have the Pokemon needed. There's only two of my rare candies are prized. Really? Ah. Well, in that case, I have Puzzle of Time in hand. Can I get anything else back? I can bring Mallow back. So let's go ahead and grab another Puzzle of Time. That will help us out. We're going to play two Puzzles of Time. I'll bring back our good friend Mallow, and I guess just to thin the deck a little bit more, let's grab another, uh... Let's grab that Professor's Letter. We'll bring some more basic energy out. By using that, I'll be getting two more basic energy cards out of the deck, you know, lessening the number of basic energy I have a chance to draw into from the top of the deck. Possibly get a better card on the next turn. Alright, so the next step. I'm gonna play Lysandre Labs so I can do some extra damage to this Deoxys, because one more hit of the Overdrive Smash does drop us. Dominating Fangs, 80 plus 60 for the stadium, 140. Down goes the Deoxys. There's one of the rare candies. So, that being the case, I do have another Scorched Earth in hand. I can play Mallow. Unless they astonish Mallow away from me, which they could. Let's see what happens. Healing Scarf, really? But tools have no effect. Oh, good. Wasn't Mallow. Alright, so what do we find off the top? Lysandre. Anyway, let's play Mallow. Well, first, let's drop the Scorched Earth. Alright, Mallow, we want to get... Let's go with Monferno and Delphox. So, we're going to use the Scorched Earth and draw those two cards up. I'm going to Rare Candy up into the Delphox. And then I'll play the Monferno. I'm going to hang on to the two energy cards in hand so I can use the Scorched Earth. And let's just go ahead and go for the Mystical Torch causing the burn. Not that it matters, we're going to do the damage with the Dominating Fangs to knock this thing out. But you see, it's got 60 HP, so if I did have Infernape in play, 
that would be doing 60 damage, I wouldn't even need to attack. Alright, a water type comes up. Ooh, this could be interesting. I hope you guys don't mind seeing this kind of basic, you know, against the computer playthrough kind of thing. Because, like, that's the best way to show off the strategy in mind. Okay. Let's just go ahead and scorch Earth. Come on, can we get Infernape? Do not. Another Pyroar, though. So... Who has a fairly easy retreat cost? Monferno. What I could do is Guzma up this and go for the knock. I couldn't knock it out, actually. I don't have enough damage yet. So that being the case, I'm going to ignore using the uh, Mystical Torch. Those Dominating Fangs for the 80. Down goes their Staryu. Another Fire Energy. Alright, we just got to find Inferno and we have the strategy fully played out. Don't astonish. No. Okay, that doesn't matter. We don't need that. We got energy in hand as it is. But we find... Off oh, that Scorched Earth. Still no sign of Monferno, or sorry, Infernape. Let's add ourselves some more HP since we already got rid of our Lysandre labs. Do a nice, basic, simple 80. Where is my Infernape? So here's the problem. I'm not even really showing off the full combo just yet. But you get the idea. Oh, this is kind of bad. First of all, super effective. And we can't use our attack this turn. But we do have Guzma. Now, first of all, Scorched Earth, come on. Hey, Ultra Ball, I'll take that. So we're going to Ultra Ball away this Delphox, and we don't need the Rare Candy anymore. I'll grab myself the Infernape. We have Arbok on the bench. So let's go ahead, Infernape onto the bench. Then we're going to play a Guzma. Bring up the Arbok, bring up the Pyroar. And I'll attach to Pyroar. I will now use the Mystical Torch. So that's the burn. It's going to uh, it's going to cause 60 damage. And we're going to go Dominating Fangs for 80 to start. 60 damage brings it up to 140. To keep the burn. Very nice. And Chimchar. So what are you going to do, Whiskash? Oh, there's still a Pokemon left. And there's the Amnesia, so we can't use that attack. But it is simply done. We're going to go with the... Mystical Torch. I can retreat this Pyroar. Use the uh, double colorless for the retreat purposes. Bring up this Pyroar, go for the 80 damage hit, and then the burn takes it down. So that's how this kind of plays out. Again, that was against a computer player. So now that we've gotten through the test phase, before we jump into the live battle against some random folks out there, question of the day. So the question is, for your chance to win one of the several code cards I hope to give out for this video, just leave your question or leave your answer to the question below in the comments with hashtag QOTD in your comment. And let me know what you think of this. Question of the day is, who is your favorite evil team leader in the world of Pokemon? You know, people have their favorite teams of Team Rocket, Team Aqua, Team Magma, Plasma, uh, Flare. What else is there? Galactic, Skull. I need one more Lightning Bolt for this Latios, really? I'm gonna do it. Alright, Pyrorius, let's give it a shot. So just leave your answer below. Who's your favorite team leader? And feel free to let me know why, too. So, in the next couple days, I'll give you guys maybe a day or two to leave your responses to that question. I'll do a random drawing. Basically, for, I think maybe for about... rough estimate, for as many comments as I get, I will draw half that many codes. Maybe round it up. We'll see how many comments we get. And we'll just go from there, because I still have, as you saw, a nice, beefy stack of codes to be given out. I'm going to start burning through them a little bit. Alright, so my opponent, Wolfie Three Stripes, with the Empoleon coin. This might spell disaster for us, if it's a water deck, because of course we're using fire types. As for me, my favorite team leader... I really like Team Skull, but I don't know about Guzma. I mean, I like how he helps you, spoilers, in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon in the post game. He has kind of a bit of honor to him. Giovanni is like, eh, he's always been the the original antagonist for, well, one of the antagonists for uh, Pokemon trainers around the world. It's hard to say. Getsus is an interesting one, but I don't like how 
he's kind of hypocritical. I mean, I know it's all a ruse. He's trying to tell people, you shouldn't use Pokemon as tools, because what he wants is just him to use them as tools. And of course, of course, my first match against a human player, I'm going to mulligan. That's part of the reason I have such a hard time showing off the decks that I assemble. Because I always seem to get the mulligans when uh, I'm playing against human people. All right, how many do we get? Just the one? Okay. So we've got Chimchar. That's actually not a bad hand to set up with. Two Nest Balls. We've got Cynthia as well. Now they can take a code. Sorry, why do I keep saying code? They can take a card, which they do. And they get another basic. So what are we up against? We see Mega Blastoise card sleeves. Wow. All right, a couple Wishy Washies. And that one shots my Chimchar with one energy of any kind. Let's go ahead and Nest Ball, get ourselves Litleo. Let's go ahead and Nest Ball, get ourselves Fennekin. I'm going to put an energy onto our Litleo. Kind of want to get Chimchar out of there, but hang on. I have Free Retreat. Of course, I can do that later. I'm going to go for Cynthia right now, shuffle my hand, and draw six. Really no basic Pokemon. All right, let's grab all the energy we can just to thin out the deck a little bit. We got, we're got. we going to have six basic fire energy in hand. Can I find myself a Scorched Earth, please? That'd be amazing. So, what does Topic Storm do? Shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon all cards attached to it into their deck. We're going to retreat. Litleo can handle one of those Aqua Rings. Not well. But he can. Or she. Actually, is there a gender difference between Litleo? I know there is for Pyroar. Max Elixir. Tapu, uh, sorry, Tapu Lele. Wonder Tag ability. So, this is another part of the hard part of showing off the decks that I like to assemble. I'm fighting somebody with nothing but Pokemon GX. That's always fun. And of course, things like, what is it? There's Hoopa with Scoundrel Ring, I believe it is. Or... Alolan Ninetales, you do have immunity to Pokemon GX, which would be kind of nice to have. I should try putting them into a bunch of different decks. So we have Brooklet Hill. Once during each player's turn, they can find a basic water or basic fighting Pokemon from the deck, put it onto the bench. Not going to do that. Oh no, that's going to hit me for 60 now. Wait, do you have an energy? You might not have energy. Oh, I can't wait to play Lysandre Labs. Okay, double colorless. Does not help us whatsoever. However, we can now use the headbutt for a whopping 20. And that's our turn. So, against the computer player, it does allow me time to demonstrate the deck. Because the opponent, like the computer opponents do not set up as much as these human players tend to do. Wait, we get a turn now. Hang on. Stop giving me energy! This is ridiculous! Come on, work with me, game. Really? Okay, I'll just throw that on in case we get Pyroar. What's this means? The tool doesn't work? Yeah, okay. I'll throw energy on the Fennekin, I guess. Headbutt! See, I could use Brooklet Hill, knowing that there's no water or fighting types in the deck, just to basically shuffle it up, but I don't know what's on top now. I could have something amazing on the top of the deck. I don't want to ruin that. You're going to hit me for 60? You are. You're going to heal, too, I believe. No, you switch. Never mind. Okay. Why, game? Why? You're giving me nothing but energies. Hey, but Now, what can you hit me with? Water gun for 20. Well, 40 with that weakness. Now, watch. You just watch. If I get a Pyroar off the top of the deck on the next turn, I might just forfeit this match. I don't want to forfeit the matches if I can help it, if I have a chance to turn things around, but I don't want to bore you guys with, you know, pointless footage. So if this gives me a Pyroar, that's just a slap in the face. That's not worth it. It ain't happening. That's a break. Might be uh, something worthwhile, I guess. Alright, let us 
Might as well throw an energy onto Bricks, and I'll do free retreat. At least we can hit it for 80. So it can only hit me for another 40 due to weakness. We're not supposed to be using Breaks into attack. What is happening? What do we find? Give me something. That's kind of something. Let's rearrange the top three cards. Ultra Ball. I will take an Ultra Ball. The question is... Which one will I Ultra Ball for? I don't know. Let's go ahead and Breaks in. I'm going to Flamethrower again for another 80. So... It can take 30 more. Hmm. That might help me, actually. It very much didn't. And of course, there's our Pyro. Okay, game. What do you got for us? I'm gonna drop another Chimchar. I'm going to Skyla. Who do I want Skyla? Who do, what do I want to use for Skyla? Let me think. I could definitely go for an Ultra Ball right about now. Let's do that. We'll grab Ultra Ball. Since it seems Pyroar is kind of down and out, we're gonna use Ultra Ball, get rid of Pyroar, get rid of this other Chimchar. Now, do I want... Infernape? Kinda do. Hang on, let me see. So this thing's all powered up. It can hit me for... 120. Yeah, I'm gonna get... Infernape. Wait, do I have Rare Candy? I don't have Rare Candy. Never mind. That kind of seals the deal. We're gonna get Delphox. So we're going to now retreat Brakeson for this Chimchar. We'll evolve into Delphox. We use the Mystical Torch. So we get a burn on there. I might as well just use Puzzle of Time again. Let's see if we can rearrange the top three. That might not be bad. Scorched Earth. If I can keep that fire energy in hand, that might be kind of good. Let's throw this onto Chimchar here on the bench. And let's go ahead and flare. 20, and the burn does 20 more, taking down a wishy-washy, at least giving us two prizes. That's something. Finnegan and Infernape. Hey, I need a rare candy now. Okay, so, the Tapu Finny can come up to 120. Actually, that's gonna knock out Delphox, which is not the best, but it would leave Chimchar safe. I would say they're going to bring Remory for the Floatstone Retreat. This match is pretty difficult. Technically, we have just taken the lead, though. What's taking you so long? We have no connection loss. Probably deciding what they want to go for. See, they could bring up Tapu Fini and just do the Aqua Ring, which would knock out Chimchar. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Then they could switch around into one of their bench. And up comes the Tapu Fini. They can Brooklet Hill, of course, get another basic from the deck onto their bench. Power up another Wishy Washy. Okay. And there is. What is that? Wishy Washy GX. So, what attack does the Tapu Fini tend to go for? Hydro Shot. Now, I thought you'd be going for that, so they discarded energy to do that, though. Which kind of helps us a bit, I guess. Might slow them down a little bit. Alright, so, we got the Scorched Earth. We'll play that out. I'm going to drop down Fennekin. I'll use Scorched Earth. Discard Fire Energy, draw two. That being a Nest Ball, which we'll get with a... What do we have in here? Do we have Pyro? Yes, we do. Litleo is the only basic left in here anyway. Alright, and now Cynthia. What do we find? Come on. I was hoping... Why do I get all three rare candies? What is this? I gotta hope I can find a fire energy on the next turn. Alright, let's go with Flare. Not a lot of damage. 
That's all we can do. So they can water gun, not water gun, they can aqua jet. I keep saying, no. I can't read cards. They can aqua ring for a knockout on Chimchar. What they're probably gonna do. Okay, they have to power that thing up. Wow. One more water, they can do a torrent torrential vortex. There's the aqua ring. Down goes Chimchar. And what comes up though? One more water energy that thing can hit me pretty hard. So, fire energy please. Why would it be fire energy? Why would it be at all fire energy? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and... What can this thing even do? Hang on. You can only hit the active Pokemon. That is okay. I'll accept that. I'm going to play Mallow. I'm going to put a fire energy on top. And... What else do we have? i got three rare candies. I want to keep getting the burns. So let us get another Delphox. I really hope that I can also top deck with the uh, Scorched Earth, another Infernape. So I'm going to retreat for free into a Litleo, let that take a hit. That's basically all I can do there. <sighs> do we see a little water energy? We haven't seen Guzma yet, though. A float stone. Okay then. They can go for 60 damage. Which they're gonna do. So this Litleo does take the hit. Switch it back. Nice little combo you got going there. Alright, let's scorch Earth away. Draw two. We've got evolution into Delphox with the rare candy, of course. I'm gonna play Lysandre's Lab. All right, let's go ahead and throw the uh, dumbbells on there. So the float stone does nothing for you now. We're gonna burn with Mystical Torch. If we could just get ourselves Infernape, we could be doing 60 against this thing. And there goes the burn. Now, if they have their own stadium, though, they can just ah, oh, they can just bump that out. That's fine. Not my dumbbells. They weren't doing me any good. But see, Field Blower. I don't have Field Blower in this deck, do I? I messed up. I always recommend Field Blower. It's also good, as you just saw, get rid of my stadium, which I would have liked to make use of, but oh well. What's with all your wishy washies? Lily, drawing up to six cards in hand. I wonder if they've realized that they don't have any Pokemon GX. And those choice bands are all for naught. Alright, Chimchar. Take the active spot. They got two prizes left to snag off of. That might be useful. Scorched Earth, discard fire, draw two. It's Pyroar. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to Mystical Torch. Just for the burn. I'm going to retreat for free. And let's just play a puzzle of time. What are the top three cards? There's Infernape. Actually, let's do it this way. Energy Retrieval, then Infernape, and then Ultra Ball. That's all we can do. So there's the burn. 20 more damage. Not really a lot to worry about. And of course they're going to cure it again. Why would they not? Do they go for the Torrential Vortex? Sycamore. That was a big hand of cards. I would have used the Aqua Patch. They probably realize I'm an easy target though and they're not going to bother. There's an Aqua Patch. And a Brooklet Hill. That actually ruins things. Because I'm going to get my energy retrieval. I'm not going to be able to draw using the Scorched Earth. But I guess at least this battle played out to uh, its full. I guess. Alright, Chimchar. Let's do this. Your only hope. Mystical Torch. Let's get that burn. Let's go for Flare for another 20. A whopping 80 damage. Now, the cure again. All they gotta do is attack. There you go. Alright, an honorable win. Not wasting anyone's time playing out superfluous cards. 
And that's that. At least we got two prizes, though. Especially against a water deck. Now, if that was a grass deck, we would have swept that match. I'm sure of it. But, I guess, I think that basically shows off the, uh, the deck idea. We did get that last lightning bolt. Latias. We got two. Two lightning bolts for that. So we have... What does that even do? I didn't even look at it. Alright, let me click back. I just want to take a look while we're here. What do you got, Latias? Break down. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon with abilities. And barrier break for 70. Sun effect by weakness, resistance, or any other effects. Okay, kind of cool. Non-tradable, but kind of cool. So that's going to be a wrap for today's Pokemon TCG live online match video featuring some Pokemon from the... Forbidden Light expansion. I had to stop and think for a second. Didn't get to actually show off Lysandre. At least Lysandre uh, Prism Star, but whatever. At least you guys saw the versus computer match to see what the idea was. And uh, couldn't work against an opponent. I'll be using this again, though, offline. Not offline, off camera. And uh, trying some more strategies, maybe tweaking this a little bit. If you have any suggestions on how to tweak this, make it a little bit more competitive, let me know in the comments down below. I know with no Pokemon GX... No one's going to want to use this kind of an idea at their local Pokemon League or online or anything like that. I'm not a competitive player. I play for fun, and I like creative ideas. This could work. I'd like to find ways to speed this up a little bit. So we'll see what I can do to uh, rack my brain around it. But anyway, thank you folks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like down below. If you want to see some more Pokemon TCG live online matches, you can check out the link in the description to the full playlist. You can also subscribe to the channel for some regular Pokemon content, including TCG, featuring as well live streaming, since my internet seems to be holding out pretty well lately. So live stream matches, you guys can battle against me. I can be using this deck. I can be using the Greninja GX. I got all these other online decks that I can work with. I'm also going to be trying to make some more decks along the way, featuring some more Pokemon GX. Do I have any others to work on right now? Actually, that brings me to a good thing. Good point. Good question. We're going to go to the filters. We're going to check the Pokemon GX of the current expansion of Forbidden Light. Let's see who we don't own just yet. Who would you like to see for next week? We got Palkia GX, Naganadel GX, we got Zygarde GX, we got Eveltal GX, Dialga GX, Xerneas. We already got Xerneas, I believe. I don't think I won with that one either. And Ultra Necrozma GX. I don't have any of that just yet, but I can try to do some wheeling and dealing in the online trades and try to get my hands on some of these virtual cards. Have any suggestions? Any suggestions? What did I just say? Did I say suggestions twice? <clears throat> if you have any requests for Pokemon and suggestions, there we go, on how to use them, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget that question of the day back in the earlier part of the video. The question is... Who is your favorite evil team leader in the world of Pokemon? And based on how many responses we get, I'll be drawing a certain number of codes randomly selected. I've got various you know, booster pack codes. I've got some tins in here, some collection boxes. Randomly drawn them out and give to a number of viewers who answer that question with hashtag QOTD somewhere in that comment. With that, we're going to wrap things up for this video. I want to say thank you folks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And come on back for some more regular Pokemon content, such as Pokemon TCG, in future videos. With all that, I'm now going to be signing off for the night. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.